everyone, I'm Bella, I'm Lawrence's daughter and I'm helping my dad with this video and the only reason I've agreed is because I get out of school work. Yes! You're not doing this again. Right, so everybody, we've had a few requests, come here, a few requests, I can hide my belly, there we go. <laughs> we've had a few requests just of um, how to do standing transfers and transfers from a chair into one of our prone standing frames. So. I do apologise about the quality of this video, as my daughter's in it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, bear with us and we'll try and get through it. And we'll try and uh, advise you on how to get your child from a sitting position into our prone. Right, let's go. So Bella's going to get into our, one of our chairs. All right, Bella, get into this one. There you go. Stop posing in front of the camera. Right, there you go. Right, lap strap on. Here we go. And then we've got our chest pad. So this is Bella in one of our chairs in our EDS. And we're just going to show how to get from our chair into our standing frame behind us. So as you know, our chairs have a high-low feature. So you can bring Bella up or you can bring her down or up. <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> so, and there's our standing frame. So, what we're going to do with our high low, we must take the the chair down to the same level as the standing frame. So our feet can then go straight into the standing frame, and then Bella can help assist do a standing transfer. So, just to show you guys, on all of our chairs, let's just turn this camera around. Can't turn the camera around, but I'll show you. On all of our chairs, it has a high-low function just there, and you'll press that down with your foot, and then you'll just push down. So I'm just gonna do that with Bella now. That's it, keep him entertained, boo. So like I say, we're gonna bring Bella back here. So we're all in the camera, and we're gonna place the standing frame here also, if your son or daughter has a foot plate, if Bella can, we'll help Bella lift up her legs, we can flip that foot plate out the way, bring the standing frame in, try and get it as close in as you can, so you can then place the feet into the sandals, and then we're going to bring Bella down, is that okay? And then also just making sure that you've got all your brakes on, on each side of the standing frame and the chair. And then from here, we're going to undo Bella's chest strap first. Always do a chest or harness strap first, whether it's a chest one or a shoulder harness. So just undo that. And then we're always, always leaving the pelvis till last. So that would be last off. If you need to also use the tilt function we can tilt Bella forward. Stay there, boo, stay there. And then what I tend to do is get your child's feet in first. You can use the straps and do up the straps first. Like so. Bella's, Bella's got her feeler trainers on, they're a bit too big. But make sure you do all your straps up first. And then, what you would do, you'd come from the side. If your child can help facilitate, this is what you would do. If your child can't facilitate a standing transfer, you would use a hoist with a standing sling. But if your child is able to help you, you would come to the side and tell, try and lean them forward, and up we go, like that. And then while you're here, you can just hold them in, and then bring the chair away. Put your your thigh against their hips and then tighten that one up and I've got the lap strap here so some people get confused with how to put the lap strap on I must admit I like to leave the lap strap on um, put it on last because my my she's uh, Bella's leaning up against me and I find it easier to do it in a standing position rather than a sit uh, seating position 
So this will go around Bella's hips. And on our, on our harnesses here, on our lap straps, you can see that there's an X on here. And I always say X marks the spot so you don't get that confused. So you're aiming just to get it in the center of their, of their hips and their bum. Wrap that round. Still, obviously, if your child needs a little bit more support, you can place a hand there, or like I was doing, your leg, and feed it through. Back round on the Velcro, and pull in. And the main thing, especially in seating or standing, is that you get the pelvis in a good position. And with the derotation belt, you can really pull each side. You might have to do it a couple of times, just to get that perfect position and that good stretch on the hip flexors there as well. So yeah, that's how you do a standing transfer from the seat to the standing frame <laughs> you thumb for thumbs up. And then back, if you had to do just reverse that all as well. And like I said, you really need to use that high low function to get their feet already, already in the standing frame. And then a little bit of tilt if you need to, to help nose go over knees and then come to the side and then you can help your child facilitate into it. I hope that's okay. If there's any more videos, just please let us know and we can upload and maybe I'll use the better actor next time with uh, my son, Max. <laughs> but <laughs> say bye, Bella. Bye. Bye. Daddy, do you think we're going to do that?